The cartoon series Generator Rex follows the adventures of Rex Salazar, a teenage hero who protects everyone from the dangerous tragedies caused by nanites. It has a total of three seasons and 60 episodes which we are going to cover in today's video. So, let's get to know what these nanites are and what role they played through Rex's adventures from start to finish. Caesar established the Nanite Research Group in Abyssus along with his parents. The scientists split up into groups for the research, and each group had a distinct plan for harnessing the power of the Nanites. Caesar developed the Control Nanite Alpha and the decontamination software Zag RS while working on the Nanite project. And both of these artificial intelligences later turned rogue and endangered all life on Earth. Ten-year-old Rex was severely injured due to an unfortunate incident, and only an injection of active nanites might rescue him. The successful operation, however, did not persuade the others to alter their course. Rex's new abilities protected Caesar and Rex during the explosion, which was so large that nanites spread over the world, giving rise to the nanite event. One of the scientists sabotaged the project, resulting in a catastrophic explosion. That day, everything changed. Rex Salazar has extraordinary powers due to his body's ability to produce and control nanites. Rex is a valuable investment for Providence, a global organization devoted to battling Evos and defending humanity, and is known as a generator. Rex sets out on exhilarating combat operations as the story continues, battling against terrifying Evos while learning the truth behind the nanite event. Rex encounters a number of challenges with the help of his loyal friends and Providence agents, particularly the courageous Agent Six and the chimpanzee Bobo, who is able to perform nearly all human actions. As the season progresses, Rex learns more about his own past, including how he was involved with the nanite incident and the origins of his unusual talents. Along the way, he also encounters the White Knight, a mysterious commander of Providence, and Dr. Holliday, a scientist who serves as his patron and specializes in managing experiments on nanites and his best friend Noah. You think you can crank the heat down a notch there, Skippy? After five years of the nanite event, Rex started working for Providence and fought a rampaging multi-faced Evo in a city, making his existence known. Rex and Bobo, however, were upset with Providence's meddling and fled for a road trip. They met Skaters and Noah, who genuinely befriended them. The pack, an Evos group led by Van Kleis, ambushed the group and transported them to Abyssus. Van Kleis exposed his dictatorial tendencies, but Rex managed to flee and after obtaining more freedom, chose to remain in Providence. I just have to remind them who's boss. Lights out. Ah. After that, Rex and Agent Six encountered a priest who had transformed into a cactus Evo, but Rex cured him instead of attacking. Then they traveled to New York to confront an Evo named Peter Meacham, saving his daughter from Van Kleis. On a spring break road trip, Rex met Cersei and battled Evos in Cabo Luna. Cersei chose to stay with the pack, and Rex returned to Providence and confronted Foulmouth, making him lose control of his powers. Some things revealed about Holiday, when Rex and Noah accidentally released a dangerous spider Evo, who was Holiday's sister who turned into an incurable Evo. I build machines and cure Evos. The only one in the world who can. Just one cure for that kind of pressure. Road trip. During his road trip, Rex encountered a group of scientists led by the architect who aimed to build a transmitter to control nanites worldwide. Rex accelerated construction with his powers, but grew suspicious of the architect, who turned out to be an android controlled by an AI Zag RS. Rex warned the others, leading to a war between the engineers and androids. With Jacob, Rex defeated Zag RS and shut down the tower. Agent Six offered Rex to stay, but Rex declined wanting to return to his real family with Six, Holiday, and Bobo. I have a problem. You need to return to base immediately. I miss you too, Doc. But I'm kind of busy dealing with a problem of my own. Rex cures a Pareptrix, causing a nanite overload and landing him in the Arctic base. He awakens to chaos and fights Biowolf and Scalamander. Weaver reveals his alliance with Van Kleis and transforms into an Evo. Rex wakes up in purgatory, exploring with Bobo. He then finds himself in a school and helps save a girl from an Evo attack in Greenville, Ohio. Falling into Breach's pocket dimension, Rex battles Sklug and defeats Breach by destroying her collected items. Rex fails to attack Van Kleis due to his diplomatic immunity. Captured by Cersei, they uncover a plot involving nanite-infused dirt and foil it. 
Rex confronts Van Kleis, but is stopped by the mention of his parents. Any man who runs from his past will surely forfeit his future. The time has come to see what you created. Rex, Agent Six, and Bobo investigated packages containing nanite activating liquid linked to Dr. Gabriel Rylander. They went to the Amazon, facing Evo Piranhas and the pack. Rex and Van Kleis infiltrated Rylander's base, where Rex discovered Rylander was his godfather, and Rylander injected with an abnormal nanite. Rex demanded answers, but Rylander sacrifices himself to stop Van Kleis. And on another mission, the group retrieved a data rod from the bug jar, battling No-Face and rescuing Providence agents. Then later on, Rex faces a giant rabbit and reluctantly attended prom with Annie. In Hong Kong, he reunited with childhood friends Tuck, Squid, and Cricket, fighting Quarry's Evo criminals. They defeated Quarry and Rex learns about his memory blackouts. Rex and Agent Six faced an Evo in a suburban neighborhood, leading to a confrontation with Providence hater Hunter Kane. Rex lost hope in humanity, but regained it when they team up against Phantom Evos. After a brutal battle, Rex spared Hunter's life. In the space, he aided Dr. Holiday in protecting the Nanite shutdown program from Zag RS, who infiltrates the satellite station. Rex destroyed the link and bought time for the shutdown. The station entered orbital decay, and Rex stabilized it with Salvatore's help. He confronted Zag RS, and Dr. Holiday saved him, and they escape in an escape pod. All clear? Questo. Later, Rex received a call from Cersei about Abysis, and reluctantly, he agreed to help along with Agent Six and Dr. Holiday. They found that Abysis was destabilized, and the pack also helped him. The pack revealed a machine that can stabilize Abysis, but Rex realized it was meant to revive Van Kleis. Instead, Rex attempts to stabilize Abysis himself, causing further instability and finally revived Van Kleis, who stabilized Abysis in exchange for Rex's loyalty. Van Kleis cured himself, but Breach rescued him. Cersei stayed with the pack, and Rex returns to Providence. Rex, Bobo, Agent Six, and Dr. Holiday battle the insect Evo species called Lomital. Rex accidentally awakened them in their nest, but escaped narrowly. He woke up in the medical ward, and Providence made a last stand on the Great Wall of China. Dr. Holiday and Rex managed to find a way to deal with them and saved million lives. Once, Rex and Noah face brutal training at Providence Boot Camp eventually earning respect and graduating. Once an Evo caused everyone to sleep, but Rex was immune to it and searched for the cause with White Knight. After things sorted out, he attended a surprise anniversary party and received a gift symbolizing loyalty from Agent Six. Providence itself will be destroyed, and we'll have Rex to thank. Rex and Noah are on the keep when Van Kleis attacks, draining Rex of his nanites and stripping him of his powers. Thrown out of the keep, Rex is caught by Dr. Holiday in a jet. A control nanite in Rex's body is discovered, and Rex decides to replenish his nanites at Purgatory Base. The process is successful, granting Rex his powers back and new builds. He confronts Van Kleis, defeats him, but Van Kleis escapes. Despite this, Rex is ready for the ongoing Evo War. That's why I work for Providence. We're the people you call when an Evo is tearing up your lawn or attacking a city. After the first season finale, Rex, Bobo, and Noah lived together while Providence was being repaired. Rex tried to unlock new builds with the Control Nanite, but failed. They faced a rampaging Evo at the docks, allowing Van Kleis and the pack to steal an energy core. Rex fought them, but Van Kleis had a backup and turned Noah into Evo. And Rex learned his condition would worsen by the time and prioritized chasing Noah into the subway, while managing to defeat Van Kleis and cure Noah. However, it was a distraction for Breach to steal the power core. Hodgson, get out! We're abandoning ship! Yeah, I got that from the annoying alarms. Rex's next mission involved a research ship sunk near the Pacific Garbage Vortex, a garbage-filled island inhabited by Evos. While diving into the area, Rex and Six encounter Evos and get trapped in the city of Aquania. There, Rex meets Serge, the Evo leader, who plans to sink the ship to protect Aquania. Rex warns about the dangerous fuel rods on the ship and retrieved them, nearly sacrificing his life. Serge saved Rex, and they secure the rods. Later, Rex and Bobo attended a desert party with Lieutenant Kenwin Jones. Rex discovered anonymous threats and took the place of Squid. They uncovered a plot by an elderly teacher named Mouse and her partner AMP to kill everyone at the party. 
Kenwin captures Mouse, while Rex fights Amp with the help of Squid and Kenwin. Kenwin praises Rex's actions, leading to the decision to pair them up more frequently. Monstrous creatures roam free, where a faceless ruler seeks escape to inflict his wrath upon humanity. Rex and Bobo encountered Van Kleis and the pack in the sewers, planning an alliance with no face for world domination. Rex tries to convince Cersei to join Providence but ends up fighting her. Rex is captured by Van Kleis and offered as a gift to No-Face. Rex fakes his death and escapes, while Cersei helps hold off the escaping Evos. Beowulf unexpectedly aids them, and they escape on the Rex ride. The shield is repaired, and Cersei decides to leave the pack. Rex suggests she moves to Hong Kong and they part on good terms. This could get interesting. Or it could get messy. And Rex fought a rabbit Evo with assistance from Bobo, who exhibits strange behavior. It is revealed that Bobo used to be an entertainer before becoming an Evo. Rex sets a trap and discovers that the Bobo he has been interacting with is a robot. The real Bobo contacts Rex and explains that he occasionally needs time alone. Rex reprograms the robot to mimic Bobo's behavior. However, chaos ensues when the robot causes trouble at the petting zoo and is ultimately destroyed. Bobo covers for Rex, and they playfully chase each other. In another episode, Rex encounters a group led by Agent Six who kidnaps him to cure their master, One. Despite their efforts, One cannot be cured, and the group plans to kill him. One and Rex escape, leading to a confrontation with Six and the others. Rex defeats them using a new build called the Bad Axes. As One dies, he revitalizes the island by merging with it. Rex questions Six's position as the new One, but Six explains that rankings are based on danger rather than skill, and meeting Rex changed his perspective. There are further episodes where Rex faces a starfish Evo, builds a mysterious machine, discovers his long-lost brother Caesar, investigates the Green Fist group, and encounters the Chupacabra Evo, improving relations with Providence. Uh, yeah, he is absolutely positive. Rex arranges a double date to scare the girls, but they end up encountering real paranormal activity at a hotel. They cure the cloud-like Evo, which turns out to be a cat, using Caesar's technology. Despite the initial deception, the girls admit to having a good time. Claire becomes interested in Caesar, making Noah angry at Rex. Rex is sent to Coney Island and teams up with two Providence dropouts, Rombauer and Lansky, who run an Evo pest control business. They trap a dangerous frog Evo, and the others deal with a separate Evo causing havoc above ground. Rombauer and Lansky prefer to continue their work in New York rather than rejoin Providence. Noah convinces Rex to join his school's ping pong team and they face mutated twins Gabriel and Michael. During the tournament, the twins go berserk due to a nanite enhancer patch. Rex defeats them but can't cure their condition. The twins reveal their preference for piano over ping pong. Rex is expelled, and Dr. Holliday decides to tutor him in various subjects. No laughing matter, Rex. It could be the most significant development since the original Nanite event. Yeah, yeah, possible cure, save the world, God. Rex and a team of scientists investigate a Nanite-free zone within a sandstorm. He encounters the pack and gets trapped underground with Van Kleis. They discover that the sandstorm is caused by a Nanite decontamination program called ZAG-RS. Van Kleis reveals Caesar's involvement in creating the Nanites and erasing Zag RS's memory. Rex questions Caesar's trustworthiness. Caesar takes Rex to a Mexican village where they meet Abuela and discover a community of Evos, including Rex's childhood friend Federico. Rex plans to cure Federico's Evo transformation, and during a battle against Hunter Kane, the Evos gain control over their transformations. The conflict ended happily. As fast as I can! Got a lot of hungry people here, Rex. Hey, a late night briefing wasn't my idea. And yes, I remember the hot mustard. Be there in. <sighs> Rex follows Breach to Hong Kong, where he reunites with his old gang, only to realize they are in romantic relationships with each other. He receives a distress call from Providence and discovers that Quarry has escaped with a powerful weapon. Rex battles Quarry and defeats him using a new build called the Block Party. He strikes a deal with Breach to exchange Quarry for Cersei. Back in Greenville, Ohio, Rex clarifies his relationship with Cersei. During Beverly Holiday's birthday, Rex undergoes stress tests with Evo dogs. They investigate Brandon Moses, who has a fake cure machine. Moses releases Evos, 
but the group confronts him and stops the auction. They save Beverly, defeat her enhanced form, and Rex bonds with Six while accepting a date with Beverly. Rex panics when reporter Diane Farah secures an exclusive tour of Providence. Agent Six becomes Diane's tour guide, while Rex tries to get on camera and ends up causing chaos. Later on, we see Rex and the agents clean Gabriel Rylander's lab. Rex finds a stone mask and is attacked by an Evo. They escape a mudslide when the Evo turns to stone. White Knight sends the agents for a refresher course, while Rex cleans alone. Rex agrees to a party where the skaters attend. The Evo statue comes to life, and Rex recruits the skaters to hunt it. The Evo takes the skaters hostage. They escape through the sewers, and the Evo targets White Knight. Rex and White Knight fight the Evo with the skaters' help. Rex offers the Evo a place in Providence. The Evo joins, and Rex escorts the skaters out, realizing they see him as a freak. White punishes them by dumping them in the sewers. All right, monkeys before humans. You scientists are all alike. Well, don't you have memories you'd like to regain? Rex and Caesar's memory restoration experiment went wrong, turning Rex into a full Evo. Six destroyed the machine, erasing six years of his memory. White Knight stopped Six's attack, and Rex explained the situation. Six gave Providence a chance but caused damage. White Knight revealed Six's mercenary past and warned Rex. Rex discovered Six's dissatisfaction and followed him to Limbarb. They fought alongside other agents at a power plant run by an Evo. Six defeated them but spared Rex. They returned to Providence and Rex destroyed the machine promising to regain memories when he saw Six in pain. Tough crowd. These agents seem nervous. Haven't they dealt with this kind of situation before? Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Here she comes! And in the finale of season two, Rex and Six were sent to assist Providence agents who were under attack by Breach, who summoned a T-Rex-like Evo. Rex realized it was a real T-Rex and brought it back to Providence, but it turned to dust. Breach became a major security risk, so Rex volunteered to bring her in. He convinced Breach to escape with him, and they went on various adventures. Van Kleiss and the pack tracked them down, but Rex hacked the amp pack, allowing Breach to send Van Kleiss away. However, her powers went out of control, and Rex embraced her as they were swallowed by a time portal. Rex woke up in the desert and was introduced to Black Knight, Providence's new leader. In the next season, we would be introduced to Black Knight. Rex, we're friends now, remember? Breach? Black Knight was an expert Evo hunter before she suffered a nanite mutation that gave her control over technology. She wore a black set of armor and named herself Black Knight out of a desire for vengeance against Rex. She joins forces with other villains and aims to wipe out all Evos, including Rex. Later it was discovered that Black Knight, like Rex, was an early test subject for the Nanite Project, and that she shared many of his talents. Black Knight characterized her own Evo skills as an upgraded version of Rex's Evo abilities because she underwent conversion to an Evo after it. In Season 3, Breach accidentally sent Rex six months into the future, where Providence had quickly transformed into a dictatorship. To combat this new Providence, Rex would have to confront his past and the true source of the Nanite event. When Rex couldn't find his buddies, Black Knight told him that they had been looking for him for several months. This made Rex feel worse. White Knight sacrificed himself, as Black Knight revealed. Rex received an Evo alert when Bobo displayed unusual behavior. Despite his inability to cure the Evo, he managed to keep any casualties. Rex argued with Providence members after confronting them, and Caesar tried to capture him, but Rex was able to flee with Bobo's assistance. Rex met up with Holiday and Agent Six and found out about the developments in Providence. Later, Rex becomes pals with a gang of bikers. In this special episode, our beloved hero Ben 10 makes an appearance. Ben was at a celebrity gig when a portal in the sky appeared out of nowhere, and a machine named Alpha came out of it. While fighting Alpha, they suddenly were teleported, and Ben finds himself into Rex's dimension. Rex and Agent 6 went to check out the universal rift that occurred in New York City. They inspected it and engaged in a fight with creatures who came out of it which were a mechanical and dinosaur-like Evo. 
who was actually our famous hero Ben 10 as his humongosaur alien who certainly looked like a dinosaur. While Rex and Ben were fighting each other due to some misunderstanding, Six was fighting the Evo machine Alpha and entered into a state of coma after the Evo self-destructed. Ben was apprehended and admitted to having been exposed to nanites. Rex accused Ben of being the cause of Six's sickness, but Ben managed to escape as Big Chill and discovered he was in another dimension. Ben and Rex started to know each other better when they shared their stories, and Ben was disappointed when he couldn't find Mr. Smoothie here. Caesar was the one who made the machine called Alpha, which purpose was to control nanites, and that prompted Alpha to target Rex's Omega-1 nanite, Alpha absorbed Evo nanoparticles. Together, Ben and Rex faced Alpha and managed to defeat it in their heroic way by merging Rex's powers with Ben's upgrade alien. We got to see various of Ben's aliens in this episode like Wrath and Upchuck, along with some cool new machines of Rex. After Rex turned the Alpha into a small ball, Ben turned into Upchuck and dropped it in Null Void later on. Our heroes parted ways hoping to meet again. Uh, anytime you want to stop trying to get me fired and back to the tour. Sorry, got caught up in the moment. Uh, dude? Then later on, Rex disguised himself as Noah, and visited the soap series set where he encountered Isabella, Beatrice, and Ronaldo. He discovered that accidents on set were caused by Mongo, a mongoose Evo who intended to destroy the set and harm the performers. Then Rex, Agent Six, and Bobo investigated Dr. Holliday's disappearance in an Egyptian tomb. They encountered Black Knight and Robo Bobo suspecting Black Knight's involvement. The mummy came to life and used a nanite staff to resurrect more mummies and Evo mummy hounds. As they fought, Rex confronted Garun set near the Sphinx, causing destruction with ancient nanites. Garun warned Rex about Black Knight, then died, and Black Knight destroyed the tomb. Later on, he fought a giant plant Evo and fought alongside Black Knight and managed to cure the Evos. The Providence Defect Group, led by White Knight, plans a mission to infiltrate New Providence and retrieve Gabriel Rylander's equipment while gaining control of Providence's mainframe. Rex discovers that Caesar triggered the Nanite event and leads the restarted Nanite project. White Knight revealed a meta-Nanite with reality-altering powers they must retrieve. Rex realized Caesar's motives and learned that their friends in Hong Kong were captured by Providence. They headed to Abyssus and encountered an Evo army led by Scalamander. Biowolf becomes an ally after being defeated. Rex retrieved the Meta Nanite as Providence attacked, and the group escaped. They plan to rescue their friends and seek revenge on Black Knight and her superiors. After that, Rex traveled to Hong Kong and fought Providence to rescue his friends. Now it's quiet. Rex and Bobo went to Egypt to investigate Van Kleiss's presence in ancient times. They followed his trail to Venice where he encountered Caesar and Providence. They freed Van Kleis, but he was in a deranged state. They were attacked by a time antibody, which was actually Breach. Rex used a new device to restore Breach to normal, and Van Kleis got captured by Providence. It's a long story. You guys have bigger things to worry about than me. Like the Meta Nanites. Did you get the one from Abyssus? Then Rex saved Cersei from Providence and brought her back to the plant. Later, during a mission to save Peter Meacham, Cersei mysteriously disappeared, and a fake Six infiltrated the plant. The real Peter Meacham contacted White Knight, revealing the fraud. They tracked down the imposter who played mind games with Rex and Six. Eventually, Dr. Holliday defeated the imposter, and Rex realized they were literally tricked into fighting each other. Rex. Rex Salazar. What are you? Rex failed to establish a connection with the nanite world. Gabriel Rylander reappeared suddenly in Providence's research facility. The consortium requested a meeting with Providence. White Knight briefs the team and assigns them to capture the remaining consortium members. After which, Black Knight presented the Meta Nanite to the consortium and Rex, Six, and Jungle Cat infiltrated the facility. They retrieved the Meta Nanite and escaped with it despite Black Knight's efforts to stop them. During an Evo prison riot, Gatlock and Valve break Hunter Kane out. They free No-Face and confront Rex. Rex controls the riot and discovers collars on City Evos shutting down. He confronts Valve and fights him. 
Later, Kane, No-Face, Gatlock, and Valve attack Rex, but he trapped them in a force field. Rex learned it was Black Knight who caused the Evo outbreak to distract and acquire the fourth Meta Nanite. Then it's time. After that, things become much more intense as the Black Knight infiltrates the plant to retrieve lost Meta Nanites, leading to a confrontation between Rex, Six, Holiday, Bobo, and the Black Pawns. It was revealed that Black Knight was an Evo herself with enhanced Nanite powers. Meanwhile, the Consortium demanded a solution for their powers, while Van Kleist planned to seize the Meta Nanite powers for himself. Rex confronted the Consortium and activated his Omega Nanite form, gaining immense powers. He used his powers to cure unstable Evos worldwide and put an end to everything. He forgave his brother Caesar for his actions, and the team celebrated the end of the Evo infection globally. Rex's successful treatment of the dangerous nanite illness brought an era of peace and reconstruction. The world's population was now more concerned with recuperating from the destruction brought on by the nanite catastrophe because they were no longer in danger from unrestrained EVOs. Rex, who had been praised as a hero, continued to serve as a knowledgeable agent in Providence, using his special abilities to protect the law and guard against future dangers. Rex undertook new tasks and encountered various difficulties and experiences with the help of his devoted companions, including Agent Six and Bobo. Together, they ensured that everyone on Earth was safe and that people could advance, taking lessons from the past and embracing a better future. If you enjoyed the video, then subscribe and like for more and don't forget to comment down below which cartoon want to see next.